This video covers the Panasonic AWUE series PTZ plugin for the Epic Games Unreal Engine. To download the plugin, you can go directly to the Disrupt AR website in the Downloads tab. We recently added support for the UE100 as well as the TechnoPoint series. Make sure to download the correct version that coincides with the version of Unreal you're using. The manual is broken into three main sections, the plugin installation, the camera configuration, and then the project configuration. First, you need to have Microsoft C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2019 installed. There's a link in case that's not already installed, as well as a link to our website. Once you download the Panasonic PTZ Live Link executable and run that, you will, may see a question asking you okay to allow from this publisher. Answer yes. Then the installer should pop up. Make sure that you have administrative rights if you do not see this appear. Once the installation is done, you'll see finished. Camera configuration is done through a web browser. You simply open up a web browser and put in the IP address for your PTZ. In this case, 192.168.0.23. You'll have a setup tab and you can set your network address. In this case, if you want to change your IP address, you'd have to do that and then change your browser address to reconnect. Make sure I uh, have DHCP turned off in this case. And then I go to tracking data output. This is all this is covered in the manual under pages six, seven, and eight. In tracking data output, you'll go to connection type, make sure serial is turned off and UDP is turned on. And finally, in the IP out, you'll have four clients that you can send the data to. So you can actually have four rendering engines receiving the same tracking information. You put in the IP address of the machine and then a port number, a UDP socket port that you're going to be using. In this case, I am going to be using 192.168.12 as my rendering engine in port 3333. I can verify that on my machine by looking at IP config. In this case, I'm running 192.168.0.12 is the IP address for my rendering engine. All these steps, again, are covered in pages 6, 7, and 8. Okay, final step 4, project configuration. So we load up Unreal. Let me hide the manual here and show you we have Unreal 4.26 loaded up in an example scene that we will provide, which is essentially two walls and a floor with a 2K grid pattern on it. And we also have two cameras in the scene, Cine Camera 1 and Cine Camera 2. And that's really about it. So the first thing you'll want to do is you have to install the plugins. So let me bring the manual back up here and show you what that's all about. So there's uh, two plugins you need to install. First is the Live Link plugin, which is included with Unreal, and that's in the animation area. And then there is the PTC plugin. So under Edit Plugins, you will see under Animation is where you'll find the Live Link plugin. So mine is already enabled, so you'll have to enable that. And then the second one is under Disrupt AR, and that will be the our plugin. And if I turn off the manual here, you'll see it's version 2.0. In this case, we're still in beta. That'll change very soon. So when I click Enable on that, it's going to say it's beta version. That's OK. Use with caution. And then Restart now. So now it's going to, I'll save my scene and restart Unreal. It's restarting the Grid Room project. OK. So now if I go back to uh, edit and plugins, you'll see under disrupt AR that it is enabled and under animation, oh, under animation down here, I'm sorry, under animation on built in, you'll see live link is installed. All right. So that's it for the plugins. So now we can go into live link, live link would be found under a window here if it's not 
up already. Um, you have to go and click on that. I tend to put it down here, but I'll show you the window live link and you can shuffle these around. And so this is where I usually have live link. So now you can come in here and you should see Panasonic PTZ live link. That's our plugin. Now within here, you have the options of camera models. In this case, I have the UE100 and this is the version three of my camera model. And in this case, my machine is 192.168.0.12 and UDP port 3333. We showed you how we set that up in the PTZ itself before. So when I hit connect, if all is good, this will go green. So I have a connection to my PTZ and you actually should see data up here. It's been hard to make out, but in the green text of above, there is data. And when I go and move my PTZ, you can see numbers are changing. So if this does not go green, the number one culprit usually is uh, firewalls and uh, blocking of that port of this port that you've chosen 3333. So there's, uh, you'll have to ask your Windows administrator or understand how to deal with firewalls and blocking of ports for applications. But that's usually what the case is if you're not uh, seeing a green connection there. All right. And if we go back and look at the uh, manual here, we'll see where we are. So we've installed the uh, Live Link plugin and the PTZ plugin. And now we've just connected to live link configuration. So that's 4.2 on page uh, nine. And uh, next page, we're gonna go and uh, we just did this as well. We chose um, the correct address and UDP port and the correct camera model. We didn't change any of these settings. If you're using a, a techno point, you will have X and Y coming in. And if you have to flip an axis or change a scale, all of that is done here. You shouldn't have to do anything for the PTZs, for the UE100 and the UE150. These are all set up for you. Uh, just have to make sure you choose the, the correct one here. All right, so that's uh, page 10. And let's go on to the next page, 11. It just gives you some definitions talking about what those fields are. And page 12. Uh, shows what we just described, the green light and everything going on there. So now we're up to 4.3, the cinematic camera configuration. Now we have to connect the data to our to a camera. So to do that, we just create a camera and you could have done that over here and uh, drag and drop a camera into the scene. That's what I've done here already. And I'll use camera one as my tracking camera. So to connect the live link data to the camera, you select your camera, you go down to the details section and you go down to the component and you add a component. Here you can just type live, um, live link controller you select. And now you just simply go and select the only one that will be there, should be there, is the one that is sending data. And now you've made that connection. Last thing here, however, is very important, is to go under the under the transform role and turn off world transform. Extremely important. Uncheck that, otherwise your camera will not move. So now you saw it change position. If I go and move the PTZ, I'm now connected to Cine Camera One. Page 14, lens, sensor, and film back. Really important that you have these measurements entered correctly. We have the UE100 and the UE150. Right now I have the sensor width at 5.76 and the height at 3.24. This is These are the settings for the UE100, which is a much smaller sensor than the UE150, which is 25.4 by 14.288. I can come up under here and select Cine Camera 1 and you'll see that I am tracking, panning, tilting, and zooming. So that is a complete connection of the plugin to a virtual camera. If I want to go and look at that through another bird's eye view, I can go and look at camera two and zoom in here 
and you can see as I'm panning around and tilting, the camera is moving accordingly. So in this case, I placed the camera up at one meter. I put a parent above it, so I have camera group, then I have the child here, and so I put it up at 100 units, which is one meter up. Um, so that um, is the setting for camera. And here I actually have these also with offsets. So that's how you position it. You won't be able to position it if you had that world transform uh, selected. So make sure you deselect that. That's it. Let me check the manual and make sure we've covered everything. So looking at the manual here, we did 4.3 and created a cinematic camera. And then next page, uh, we added a component and then we chose the correct one. And finally uncheck the world transform, page 13. Once these are complete, as I said, you should be seeing the data and you should be able to control the PTZ. And finally, if you go to the installation folder, C program files, Epic Games 4.26, engine, uh, under plugins, marketplace. This is the Panasonic PTC Live Link. So this is where it gets installed. Uh, this is where you'll find the user's guide, as well as under the binaries, you'll find the simulator. So if you run the simulator here, it will launch this, which will allow you to put in your address for your rendering machine and your port, and just cycle through um, values so this is really helpful to establish that the Panasonic plugin and LiveLink are connected and communicating. If the simulator is presenting data in the output field and you're not getting the green light on LiveLink, then this establishes that you have a networking issue. The plugin and LiveLink are connected. Thank you for downloading our plugin and watching. If you have any questions, please email info at disruptar.com.